about the feeling after the show? I'm so exciting. It's, I have a great time, so great time. Thank you so much. Please tell us something about this uh, collection and uh, the reason why you have chosen a place uh, like uh, Monte Carlo to, to show it. Uh, what does it represent for you? This show is really typically for each person. She creates the only dress for the person to have the soul in the piece and typically it's for red carpet. More details about the collection, the uh, fabrics, the materials and the, um, the technique you have used uh, to realize it, if it's all handmade or you use the machine. I made a handmade, handmade and uh, my couturier is a uh, handmade. How many hours of job? Uh, usually, usually two months or three months. Okay, thank you so much and thank enjoy, you. hope to see you soon again. It's really wonderful to be here and especially that we had the opportunity to show here on the Monte Carlo Fashion Week our new cruise collection 24. Uh, what is the story of this uh, new collection? I'm, I'm pleased you said story because it is a story. It's, a, it, it's really just a celebration. We wanted something to feel happy, to feel beautiful and the, the main inspiration for the collection is the uh, Bet, it's called a betta fish. It's a very, it's a Siamese fighting fish, and they are so beautiful. And they they thrive in in muddy waters and in like dark, depressing environment. But they are magnificent and beautiful. But they're also very fierce. They attack themselves. So and that was the main inspiration for the color and the attitude. What do you think about uh, and what do you think about the, how uh, you are acting in this moment for this great uh, theme of sustainability in the uh, fashion industry and uh, the possibility to, to make some goals uh, in the next few years in terms of sustainability? That's a very important thing and we have a lot of intention on this and you have seen also we shout a lot of colors and we want to show positivity and the people after all these difficult periods have, have to be positive and also to be aware of the difficulties on the other hand we have on our world and put the attention also for sure on sustainability, you know. How is it possible to realize a beautiful uh, dress uh, with, a with a recycle or upcycling uh, raw materials? Absolutely, I mean, for example, this collection, in sustainability has many levels. So if, I think people think it's unattainable and you have to do it out of discarded waste, but there are many areas you can be sustainable. For one, all of our, our product is made in Monaco, all of the product is sourced as close to Monaco as possible so just by doing that your carbon footprint is small so you're not going through many countries and just to educate and research about the fabrics that you're using that they know harmful chemicals in certain renewable sources some natural fibers are, are renewable so those elements but you can actually go as far as recycling for example some sequins and some of the paillettes that are used we can we can make from recycled plastic bottles and it can really there's so much innovation and so much science out there we just have to research it, we have to learn how to use it and then we have to apply it. It's not as difficult as people feel.